Hey guys, I'm back with more Greedfall here. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go do the main quest over here. Just because. I feel like I need to do some more main quests just to unlock some more of the game, maybe. I don't know. So I don't know if upgrading like your agility and stuff makes you uh, attack faster, but it'd be kind of nice if it did. Bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go. that up. Hmm. Dead end. I meant to hold the button. Kind of looks like it. Although we can go down that way. Oh, there's something over there to pick up. Percep <laughs> Professor Seth Seraphidin's notes. I do not think I've ever been more scared in my life than when the Nadig Mag Magamen rushed towards us. Spear in hand, I thought my time had come, and it would certainly have been the case were it not for the invention of my courageous bodyguard who managed to deflect its attack, giving us enough time to escape. Yet now that my fear has passed, I regret not having paid more attention to the beast itself. Despite its enormous size, it appeared almost human. We will have to continue observing them. Hmm. Almost human. I am almost certain that this large Simulus could reach us many things, teach us many things about these creatures. Some native elders told me there was a gi gigantic skeleton inside it. If only I could study it. In the end, the Nadag Magman managed to kill my loyal bodyguard. I will make sure that his widow receives a hefty allowance. He fought like a lion and he gave me his rapier before he died. According to him, I have a chance to survive an attack from the beast if I poison the blade and strike repeatedly. Whoa, what is this thing? A bit of poison on my blade. And let's go! I'm gonna take his armor down. Let's see if you can ward off this fight! Holy crap. Um, 
she got down, resuscitation power. Ouch, and I died. Okay, that thing is beastly right there. I think we need to come back when we're a little bit tougher. Where did it put me? Uh, clear the crap back here. Okay, let's try one more time. Bit of poison on my blade. And let's go. Yeah. Need to get its armor down. Ouch, I thought I dodged. Okay, it's almost out of armor. I think it is out of armor. I am barely even tickling it, man. <laughs> okay, we're definitely not powerful enough to take this thing on. So let's get out of here. I saved right before I fought it, so. That's really cool that there's like bosses like that, though, that you can find and challenge if you want. I'd probably be better off if I picked up some skills for, like for potions and stuff like that too. That way I could like uh, what did that say? Impossible to climb. Oh. Okay. It looked like it could go that way. Look, there's a gap to jump there. What did you need? Agility? Vigor. I need a bit of practice. <clears throat> Vigor is health, ain't it? Still got music for some reason. What's up here? This looks like a camp or a clan. Like a ritual site or something?
Let's see. Can we go kill these things real quick? Get some XP. Bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! Yeah. Yeah. So carrying a big weapon does hit multiple beasts, or enemies, which is cool. That's what I was really hoping for. I just need to work on getting better skills, I think. Okay, it's a long way back over here, holy crap. I didn't realize that. That and I spent some time trying to fight that boss and I shouldn't have. The Nog Madman. The game is really good looking, the graphics are. And I'm playing this in 1440p on my computer, um, it's, I just don't have enough graphics card to do 4K. 1080Ti is still a good card, it's just not good enough for some games in 4K, for most games, for new games. Greetings, my lord. It's a real pleasure to have a customer such as yourself. How may I help you? What you got? <laughs> Look at that. That's like a hand with a, like a nail or something in it. Yeah, see, that's the same thing I got, so... Now that would have been really cool. Got some cool stuff, but nothing that I want. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Okay, I think we talked to this person. Good day. What can I do for you? What can you tell me about the ruins on the plateau? You aren't the first to ask me about them, but the answer is still the same. I've nothing to tell you. Not that I wouldn't want to, but I've never been there. There must have been a path once upon a time, but it's no longer there. Maybe it collapsed. Some say that you have to pass through the mines to get there. A few of the tunnels do climb. It's certainly possible, I would say. But those tunnels are all closed, and we have better things to do. The iron ore. It doesn't come out of the ground by itself. Do you need anything else? Hmm. No, I think I'm, I'm headed good. out. Goodbye. Goodbye. It still acts like we need to talk to her, though. Good day. What can I do for you? Talk to me about the mines. It wasn't us that first dug them out. They're really old. Centuries old. But those tunnels are full of riches. It takes little effort to unearth the minerals that we want. What more could we ask for? As seeing as how there aren't that many of us, if we were pressed to mine all the tunnels, we'd be too few. But the time will come. When folks hear about what we're pulling from these rocks, we won't be alone for much longer. Okay. Find a passage towards the plateau inside the mine.
Hello. You lost? No. Why do you ask? It's just that we rarely get visitors. Well then, what can I do for you? What can you tell me about the ruins that we can see up there? Uh, not a great deal. To my knowledge, no one's ever been able to reach them. There were some officials from the city that came, but when they saw they couldn't easily climb up to the plateau, they just left. There must have been a path that caved in. Unless some sort of tunnel in the mine takes you there. Anything else? What can you tell me about the mine? It's ancient work. The natives must have dug it out a long time ago and then abandoned it. Even if it is strange work for islanders, it looks more like something we would do on a continent. We're trying to restore it. The rock is extremely rich in iron ore, but the tunnels are very old. You need to go slowly. None of us are in a humor to be buried alive. We did explore a few of them, and we're exploiting the closest, but others, nah, they're still inaccessible. Anything else? I'll leave you to it then. Until we meet again. Science, ooh. Lock picking, science, vigor, and another vigor. Oh, man. So that would let me, um... Get into that one area. Possibly. Dude, those are cool looking. We're going for beefy boy. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Interesting. Uh, boots. What can we do with these? All right, well, this goes up, so let's climb up here. stuff I can mine in here. I was wondering. It's like destroy level one science. I'll come uh, Oh look at that. Nice. That was probably a good thing to put that on then, because I don't know if I would have been able to get in here. Major magic potion bile elegant tricorn. Nice. say we made it up here
Let's see, I think there was a way to do a light or something. Okay. There's a workbench here. Okay, well, it looked like we might need to go back, fight those things, and figure out a puzzle. Put a poison on my blade. Then let's go! <laughs> let's see if you can ward off this fight! So, I leveled up. Damage plus 10%. The mowing attack has an increased area of effect. Greater combo speed. Balance when using long blades is reinforced. Roll. Oh, that's right, I spent the point already. Uh, I already got that, right? Yeah. Firearms deal more damage. I use my sword more often anyway. Oh, wait. Um, we have an attribute point, so... Agility, mental power... Power, accuracy, and dirts. Or strength. My agility is that one, strength is that one, endurance is that one. Blunt weapons. Was it vigor? Yeah, it was vigor that I needed another level of to get to that other area. So then I guess we'll do Agility. Okay. <clears throat> there should be... How do we get must this, be open? A way to open this gate, Yeah, it looks like it's from another direction, though. Dude. <sighs> Alright, well, I don't think we go this way.
We found the ruins. Finally, here we are. These are the ruins that Lady Lorreen spoke to us about. I'll drown myself with the morning tide if these buildings are of native construction. Explore the area. Something may give away the identity of the architects. Bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's this? Excerpt from Professor Seraphidin's notes. The view from these ruins really is outstanding, and I managed to observe one of those magnificent creatures who live on the seashore without it noticing me. The shell of this Nadag Jan Glenderman seems to be as robust as a crab shell, and what a surprise it was to see that. Despite its sheer size, it was capable of hiding in the ground in an instant, disappearing from my sight, only to reappear farther away. We have so much to learn from these noble creatures. It is easy to understand why the natives worship them. Ah. Uh. Another big boss thingy. And it wants me to go that way. All right, I, I guess. Bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go. Ow. Ow. That's the thing he was talking about that buries itself. How do you get it out of the ground? Oh, don't run into it, that's for sure. Ah, man, I... Okay. Crap, dude. Like, don't get in front of it. Okay. Bit of poison on my blade. And let's go! I really need to get that roll. It'd be nice. Say I got ran over again. So I just can't get out of the way. Okay, it's out of armor. Stop shooting me.
You're dead. Cool. The Wrecker. I got an achievement for that. Piece of pearl from a prince of the seas. You have taken this piece of pearl from a Nadig Glindeman. A collector would probably be interested. Sell it to a merchant. Alright. Right on. Yatagon. Sweet. Worthy of legends. It ought to be. It kind of sounds like it is. Uh, yeah. Where's it at? Oh, it's like a kukri. Dang. 298 damage. Look at that. Um, who can we give that to? She cannot wear it because she does not have agility level 2. He does, though. So we'll give it to him. Nice. I'm I'm still two-handed boy. I'm not going to go with that. Uh, even though it's cool. So that's kind of cool. You get, like, if you fight those bosses, do you always get, like, a legendary sword or something? Ah. Old journal almost ineligible. Our position on the island is becoming impossible to hold. Despite our best efforts and the many battles we have won, we are losing more and more ground. These savages are formidable opponents. The roots seem to obey them, and they are helped by gigantic creatures, the likes of which we had never seen before. The creatures are approaching, and we are incapable of facing them. The lords are already preparing to be bored the ships that the knots had stationed near the outpost. As I expected, they said there would be not enough room for everyone. We are going to be we are going to die here, stamped by some giant raging monsters, cursed to be the princes and their ambition. This journal confirms what we suspected. A continental nation had once attempted to colonize the island with the help of the Nords, and they were repulsed. From what I was able to decipher, few of them actually managed to escape. I should have known as soon as we discovered those ruins that we were not foreign to these lands. Mm. The major part of the journal has faded, and I'm not able to decipher the name of the author. Let's continue our search. We must discover which nation was here. He is naked. Continue the search. Yeah. Well, this episode is really long, so I'm going to go ahead and end this one here, guys. Um, hope you like it, though. We had a cool boss fight in it, so let's go ahead and save because we did that. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one.